Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshek. Today's Friday, August 12th, and we are continuing our preseason coverage of uh, college football coaches' ATS tendencies with Steve from collegefootballwinning.com, a very interesting series of videos. Right now, we're going to take a look at Nick Saban of Alabama. Of course, all this uh, information comes from Steve's book that he's recently written, The Betting Black Book. Steve, thanks for being back with us. Now, Nick Saban, I, I think I know what you're going to say here because as a coach, obviously, he's awesome. As far as ATS tendencies, Alabama under Nick Saban, I definitely have a few things in my mind that I look for. When they're a massive favorite of like 40 or more points against a team like New Mexico State or something like that, that's when I'm actually looking to fade Alabama. But when they're like a, a sort of like unusually big favorite at first glance against other elite competition, like a 13 and a half point road favorite against another top 25 SEC team or something like that. And at first glance, you think maybe that line's a little bit too big. That's actually when I'm looking to bet on them. That's Those are mainly associations with uh, Alabama under Nick Saban. Steve from collegefootballwinning.com. What can you tell us about uh, Steve, about, uh, sorry, about Nick Saban's uh, ATS tendencies? Wow, that, that is great, Peter. I'm going to give you some very precise data to back up what yeah. you have already perceived. It's very impressive. So in the betting black book, this is a betting history. The book is a betting history of all 128 active FBS head college football coaches. So specifically against the spread, Nick Saban as head coach at Alabama. So I'm just covering Nick Saban at Alabama, not anywhere else. And he's been there since 2007. Against the spread, overall, he's 65 and 57. So that's 53.28%. This is a good time to remind viewers that the break even point in standard college football betting is 52.38%. So anything above that statistic is, is profitable. Anything below that percentage, and you're losing money. At home, at home at Alabama, he's just 29 and 33 against the spread. So underperforming a bit. 46.77%, so maybe expectations are a little high for when Alabama's at home. Overall, he's 65th of all coaches in the FBS currently against the spread in that category. Away, for away games, now, I considered away games, games obviously not played at home, neutral site games, but not bowl games, not college football playoff games. Those are a separate category. So for those away games in this category, 30 and 20 against the spread, sort of backing up what you were saying about being maybe uh, what looked like a, a favorite on the road that you thought, I'm not sure that's justified. 60% against the spread, he's 30th in that category overall. Narrow point spreads. In this category, these are point spreads less than a field goal. And for these, I didn't distinguish between underdogs and favorites because over the last 10 years, uh, when a team has opened or when a side has opened as less than a field goal favorite or less than a field goal underdog, it has switched from underdog to favorite or favorite to underdog 25.37% of the time. So to call one of those teams a favorite or an underdog might be misleading. So simple category, narrow point spreads, less than a field goal. Nick Saban is 3-1 and one against the spread in that category, so he, he doesn't find himself in that situation too often. As favorites overall, so favorites of at least three points, Nick Saban at Alabama is 58 and 53. That's 52.25% against the spread. As an underdog, again, pretty rare at Alabama, underdog of at least three points, four and three against the spread. Now, in conference, so against SEC opponents, 44 and 34. That's 56.41%. That's, that's the fourth best in the SEC and certainly profitable. Out of conference, 21 and 23. So you just take one of those losses and you flip that into a win and he'd be an even 50%, which means he's more or less meeting expectations out of conference. Total preparation. This category was when a coach and his team had at least 10 days between games or 10 days to prepare for a game. So that'd be like the first game of the season after bye weeks, before a bowl game, before college football playoff games. Any game where a coach had at least 10 days to prepare uh, before kickoff, he is 20 and 11. That's 64.52%. That's 25th overall for all coaches. Here's where he really excels. The first game of the season, Peter. First game of the season coming up. Alabama against the spread with Nick Saban. 8 and 1 against the spread to start the year. 8 and 1. It's 88.89%. He is the greatest against the spread coach in that category, first game of the season against the spread, greatest of all coaches who have played at least five games have had at least five season openers. 
the preseason AP poll. I like to talk about this because this is often a place where we could sort of quasi-quantify some preseason hype. There, there might be some concerns that Nick Saban in Alabama, there's tons of preseason hype for them. So the, it, we could pretty much lock it up, even though the, the preseason AP poll hasn't come out yet. It'll come out August 21st, I believe. Pretty much lock it up that they'll be a top two team. I think number one, probably number one, but definitely top two. The past 10 seasons, the preseason AP number one and number two together, past 10 seasons, they've averaged 49.03% against the spread. You would say, okay, just narrowly something under meeting expectations. But the last three seasons, those ones and twos, so top one or top two preseason, 42.5% against the spread. So really bad. But for Alabama, under Nick Saban, using preseason number ones and number twos, looking at the past 10 years, when Nick Saban at Alabama, when his teams have been ranked number one or number two, he averages 53.73% against the spread. Every other coach or team, so you take him out, every other coach, preseason number one or, or number two, last 10 years, 47.37%. So it looks like everyone is used to Nick Saban in Alabama being up there in the top one or two. He's not necessarily exceeding expectations by much, but he's also not underperforming there, 53.73%. So he's just a little bit, he's exceeding expectations by just a bit. In some, Peter, for Nick Saban at Alabama, where he exceeds expectations in away games, in conference, in the SEC, he is, as I said, an amazing first game of the season coach, eight and one. Where he fails to meet expectations, it's not so great at home. We already said he ranks 65th. He, he's just bad, and this is where... This is where you, you picked up on this to start this video, Peter. He is just bad as a huge favorite. So I looked at huge favorites for Alabama, at least 35 points, okay? Under Nick Saban, he's, they're 6-12 and 12 against the spread. That's just 33.33%, but even worse, the last five seasons. So when Alabama, last five seasons, has been a favorite of at least 35 points, they're 3-11 and 11 against the spread, just 21.43%. Yep, that's what, I, that's what I knew I was seeing all these years with Alabama. An interesting team. I'll definitely be looking to, uh, to uh, bet on them, though, in week one once again this year. Steve from collegefootballwinning.com. Tell us a little bit about your website before we let you go. Thanks, Peter. At collegefootballwinning.com, all we do is college football betting analysis all year round, even in the offseason. We're a company founded on making betting recommendations algorithmically, and we call those algorithmic betting recommendations our formula. Those formula betting recommendations have beaten the spread, lifetime of the company, at a rate of 59.89%. And that's nearly 500 formula betting recommendations. So come to collegefootballwinning.com, put in coupon code SBR10, that's SBR10, and we'll give you 10% off of any membership that we're currently offering. And we still offer a 100% money back guarantee on the entire season. All right, awesome, Steve. Talk to you again very soon. Thank you, Peter. Talk to you soon. Do your research before you bet. Check out our ratings guide to see which books have the best ratings and sign-up bonuses. Open up several accounts and shop for lines at sbrodds.com. Always be ahead of the game.